Hello and welcome to episode 30 of my Terraria Calamity Mod playthrough. So we did a little bit more farming. We actually got them both in the next two attempts. This one is the normal sand elemental. This one is the rare one. As it stands, I have the normal one equipped in the place of my pygmy necklace because it is just another summon and it does... Uh, the way it does damage is potentially useful against some particular bosses. Uh, the other one uh, I'm not going to bother using, but I'm going to put them away. Um, because they actually provide healing, but the way their healing works is... Um, let's put you in here. The way their healing works is that they spawn healing orbs above their head that float. And because obviously they're flying over on the, uh, the side of you, in order to get them, you have to jump over towards them, fly upwards, and uh, they're going to, of course, then move with you. So their next healing orb is even further away, which just makes it impractical in a boss fight. So, yes, we're not going to bother with those. What we are going to do briefly, um, I want navy plate, onyx plate. We're going to make ourselves a few more turrets. Since we have the onyx plates, we can now make another type of turret, um, but we've been meaning to for a while. Uh, blighted. Uh, we've been meaning to for a while put some turrets down on the level below, um, and I've just not got around to it, so we're going to quickly get that done. So I want four onyx turrets, two water turrets, and then we can put the rest away. For now. Maybe we'll make some more later. We'll see. Okay, now where do I want to put the onyx turrets? These are shotgun turrets. Um, they will fit there. Okay, that works. Um, so let's have them down here on either side of this, and we'll put the water turrets on the other side of them. Okay, so the actual plan for today, let me just have another quick sip of tea. Is to get some boss kills. And by the looks of it, I'm, I'm fairly sure that these weren't supposed to, but it looks like these are holding off the um, hallowed which is helpful but we do still need to actually start getting these mechanical bosses killed so we can start pushing it back in the places that we need it pushed back so with that in mind this is our next target and then this one hopefully both today we shall see so we need crown key who rages outside the tundra doesn't have a daytime requirement so we just need the key, which is now needs Souls of Light, Souls of Sight. I don't think I have enough souls. I need more souls of night. I think we have everything else. One, two, three, four, five. I think I've used any of that yet. We collected a few or a few more of them. There we go. Okay, Souls of Night. We need to get back underground. Um, I will go quickly do that. I will be right back and we will see you once we have got them. Okay, we have all the stuff. Uh, does this, can be, this be crafted here? It can be crafted here. Okay, good. Right. We're losing our daytime, but let's see if we can at least get one attempt in. No idea what this boss is going to do. But let's give it a go anyway. So 
So the tundra on our left hand side is very slowly also getting um, converted into crimson. So we do really need to get the mechanical bosses or a mechanical boss dead to get the claiminator. Okay. Right. Buffs. Summon. So over on our left hand side. primarily on avoiding those spikes. I'm really not doing a very good job of. Ooh. I don't think we can take we can only take one more hit unless we can heal. Cause some kind of bleed on me. Oh, it put some kind of fire on me. How close did we get it? That looked like he was at like 50% health. Most of our melee attacks were missing though. Because it was out of range. So he wasn't hitting it with a whip. Switch out this. This is good against wave attacks. It's not particularly good against anything else. I need something that can fire into the air relatively quickly. Let's get this back out. Here, I think uh, the speed that it's moving around, then the this elemental isn't really helping um, because it's just putting down AOEs. This is going to be really good against um, what's it called, the destroyer, because all of its segments will go through, but as it stands, not helpful. Uh, the wings are helping me get over it. It's mostly just a matter of I need to better read what it's doing. Maybe I could use a second platform over there. Do we have the wood for a second platform? We have the wood for a second platform. Uh, let's make it daytime. One moment, please. Okay, it's close enough to daytime that it'll give us the opportunity to... Um, I think we will add another level um, of platform over there. Okay, first let's craft some more. And then let's put them here.
I'm hoping the fact that the crimson's over there isn't causing a problem. Oh, the crimson's now come up to here. Because this is still technically tundra. I don't think it was enraging. Its behaviour didn't seem to change. Perhaps we stay more on this side of the map, if we can. Okay, um, defense is 61. We are getting the effects of these, but let's move them. Oh. Number two. God damn the rain. I just got rid of the fucking stuff. attack is annoying. Can I take double damage from? Something is bouncing me around and I couldn't see it. How many times do you charge? Okay, we're going down to 58. Now, I stopped you, Rain, before I went over there for a very specific reason. Fuck off. The last thing I want is a blizzard so I can't bloody see anything. Okay, we're out of those potions. I think we do now have a means to replace those potions, but... It's mana regeneration. We need these. Yeah, I'm not sure of the tell on its charge attack. So it's basically hit me with a charge attack every single time so far. my grave. Okay, um, let's quickly do a minor bit of terraforming. Fucking rain! That thing is supposed to stop the rain. It's the entire purpose of it. Why does it keep coming back? It's annoying. The last thing I want to be doing, doing is looking for pale white shards on a pale white background. A pale white blue shard on a pale white background. It still says it's raining. Am I miss... 
If used while it's raining, the rain will stop sometime afterwards. According to that, it's still raining though. So this does not appear to be doing what it says it's supposed to be doing. Still says rain. If I use it. Heavy rain. Use it again. The weather still says heavy rain. That's a problem because that defeats the point of the item. If the item only temporarily stops the rain, now I've got a sandstorm. We'll make do. Someone's can't keep up with it. annoying. It's faster than the daggers. Whew. Yeah, the makings of a gifted maid. Uh, tell me, uh, what do you think of ice magic? It's like basically just a um Oh no there's rogue damage there. Okay, um these things aren't doing us any good. Cause they can't keep up with it half the time. Which is unusual. <laughs> Uh, our health is max, our potion has come off cooldown. We may as well give it a second go. If everything is all working. Okay, so it actually specifically summons a snowstorm. Oh shoot, I should have got my um, thing out. Oh, 
Okay, so it spins before it charges. damage I did not need to take. I needed just a couple more seconds to be able to heal. I was hoping to get underneath it, but never mind. Okay, I don't know what we need drop-wise from it, so I'll have a look in a second. Trophy down. What have we got here? He yet lives? I thought him slain by Calamitous. It appears she imprisoned the Archmage to spare his life. Uh, I assumed the frigid mass was an old um, construct of his, running amok without its master to shepherd it. Permafrost was an old ally of mine, wielding the prestigi prestigi ah, prestigious title um, of Archmage um, with great renown. His wisdom guided my original con conquests, making much of them possible at all. Uh, as, my crusade, uh, as my crusade evolved and my ambitions grew, uh, he expects... Jeez, drink. It's 11 in the morning, Nathan. You have no reason to be stumbling over your words this much. As my crusade evolved and my ambitions grew, he expressed ver um, vehement disapproval. Where justice was once seen, tyranny had blinded it. Uh, he departed along with the witch um, not long after. Okay, open the bag. What do we get? That's almost one of everything, I think. At least one of everything important. Ah, there's these things that we haven't got. These count as wings. I believe they synergize with the... Um, Frostburn... Or Frost... Uh, the Watchman Thinky set. More melee attacks and projectiles, inflict frostburn, ice rings down. We didn't get a summon. Okay, we didn't actually get any items that are useful for us specifically. So we are going to have to kill it again. Maybe not today, but we are going to have to kill it again. They count as wings. Um, the boost they give us isn't worth it, so I think... They'll just keep it. Oh, wait, no, we do actually want one of all of these, don't we? For this. So, yeah, what we've actually got is three parts of this. Let's put these in the rogue chest then. Try and remind us to finish that. And the wings were just put away. you have new items? What new items could you possibly have? 
Cooper short sword. And you just have new blocks. I wonder where our new friend went, probably into the sky. Am I blind? Where the devil is he? He's not in the sky, he can't be over there, there's not space. He's not here. Oh, he's moved into our room. Of course he has. Um, that room is not for you. Let's just get rid of your question mark. Okay. I think we were doing more damage to it that second time. Or at the very least we're doing more damage in the second part. Just because um the ice things could keep up with it. Or oh, fire ranger to ranged attacks at it. I might be better, or might have been better off using um, the fire whip though. Although we weren't using that fire or the whip much, just because it wasn't in range. Okay, do we have... We do have the mechanical eye. Ideally we would have wanted to use it at the start of the night though. I don't have that item yet. I mean, it's early enough in the night. Shit. It's okay, that potion isn't expensive to make. All right. I think we can potentially kill it, assuming we survive long enough. This one we absolutely do want this blade staff. Get rid of that. Okay. Oh, they've both broken out. I think I'm dead. Their movement behaviour has changed too much. I'm used to being able to just bounce up and down in between them, but now they're moving so fast that once it got to that point, I couldn't figure out how to focus one of them down. Let's give it another go. Yeah, we were doing enough damage that we can definitely kill them. 
buffs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That there, that there. Summon. Focus in tack on that one. Why are they refusing to acknowledge my order to attack that one half the time now? I want both of them to be on their maximum um, nastiest form at the same time. I need this one killed first. Come on, kill it! There we go. Now we can get Mithril. energy there for a moment. Let's read the mechanical trio and the twins. Sip of tea beforehand. These unwieldy beasts of steel were the experiments of Daedron, my former colleague and prodigious engineer. His intent was to fuel a war machine with soul energy, allowing it to... Okay, it must be in the bag. Summons a miniature pair of eyes. That's a pet item, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, to fuel a war machine with soul energy, allowing it to fly with purpose and zeal. The creations were a success. Perhaps too much of one, as the souls continued to express their own free will. Daedron was displeased with the result. However, these were my soldiers, uh, with their loyal fo forged anew in iron. I dismissed them from, my or from duty, yet they linger here still, scouring the land for evidence of the divine. Unfortunately for you, that puts you in their crosshair, uh, giving them a battle worthy of dying in. The Twins. Not all warfare is direct combat. Logistics, intelligence and wit are paramount in equal ways to ensure victory. These machines are my finest scouts uh, and agents. Reborn in the form that gave them the sight unraveled, unrivaled. An enemy is only as safe as you let it be. Archers, spies, assassins, and more allow you to keep a decisive edge. Daedron understood well uh, that the only fair fight is one you win. His assistance was infallible, uh, his calculus cold and cruel. Not even the most loose, uh, evasive targets stood a chance. Okay. Uh, Steampunker! You can live in my house for the time being. I have no qualms with that. 
Okay, that goes in there. Not the twins killed. Let's see if we can get the item we want from them. We got a bad roll. Adrenaline charges faster. This is an equipable thing. It's also material, I assume. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. I wonder what drops this. Doesn't say. Maybe it's purchased then. Okay, but we have our Souls of Sight. Unfortunately, I think for most of this stuff, we need all three. Ah, the Rainbow Rod. No, it's not the Rainbow Rod. We need the Rainbow Gun. That needs all three. That needs all three. That needs all three. That only needs the one, but it's... Oh, it's Rogue. It is a Rogue weapon. these need all three. We shall put them away for now. And you shall go in there. Mechanical wheel piece. It's, sounds familiar. Is this used in... No. Ah, yeah, it's used um, just to make a special kind of minecart. Oh, not quite. I thought these three went together to make a um, a mechanical minecart, but no, they're an upgrade. They will go in here with the rest of this, and you need to go in here as well, and then you can go away. Steampunker, so glad of you to join us at last. I need the Claminator. I'm also going to need the jetpack. And then the pneumatic. I think we need that at some point, but until we specifically need it for something, I'm not going to worry about it. There's a steampunk minecart, Star Trek. Main thing we're going to need is lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of this. Now, let's just push back this. back nicely enough. So uh, the jetpack can go away, that's going to be mixed with... Uh, let's put that in this chest here if it's still empty. That's going to end up being mixed with the balloons to make the mohab. Not that I'm probably ever going to use the mohab, but still. Okay. Twins has been killed. The item we wanted from them isn't listed in here. They used to drop them. Although we did notice that they appeared to be a drop from, or they were listed for whatever reason, as a drop from the eye. Though I'm not seeing them in here now either. Hmm. 
let's search by summoner weapons. Verity. This is the one. Oh, it's crafted now. Fair enough. I don't remember it viewing a crafted thing previously, but let's make it. have a slightly closer look at what we can craft with this because we obviously missed that yeah there it is there's the oculus staff those aren't helpful interesting that the magic harp needs souls of night that eventually. Okay, there's not much that needs just these, so let's just go ahead with this. We need uh, both lenses. One black, two of those, do we need the Mithril Anvil? We may need the Mithril Anvil. We need the Mithril Anvil. Okay, so we're going to have to go and find Mithril one way or another anyway. Um, we have a little bit of time. Let's go mining. Uh, let's put these... Oh, I forgot to put those away. Let's put these in here to remind me that... I still need to farm them some more, maybe when I've got a bit more defence. The next time we fight the eye, it will have 10% um, more health and damage. Okay. Let's get to digging. Oh. Hairdresser. Presumably just some... New hair colours. Oh yes. Next here, this is um, available now. Wait a little bit though. Right, yes, we need to find ourselves some mithril. Okay, down in the cabin layer should be fine. I probably should have gone that way, but never mind. Let's check down this area here, since this is the direction we came. Forget what the other ore that spawns with mithril is. Remind me, game. Or Calcum, which is... I want to say it's orange, but I don't think it can be because Palladium is orange. And it's perfectly possible the pickaxe we have may actually not be able to mine Mithril or Here we go, there's Mithril. Yeah, this can't mine Mithril. This 
is only supposed to drop a single thing. Uh, we do actually want a second one of those. But I think everything else that dropped from here can be sold. Okay, uh, we need a better axe. Drill, adamantium, gel pickaxe, power is 105, which is I think, yeah, same as that. Titanium pickaxe. Shard light pickaxe. I think that's cryogen. Isn't it? Yeah, which is going to require titanium. So we're just going to have to make a um, mithril one. So not a mithril one, cobalt. Drill is faster and has a lower range. Let's go on which is whichever is cheapest. They're the same. We'll take the drill then. Okay. Go get ourselves some. We have loads of them. Uh, they should be in here. Hunting potions are what we want. I should probably be. I wonder if I, if I use these, if it will make those spikes easier to see. Spelunking potion. Flipper. if Deja Sense will make the spikes that the cryogen fires easier to identify. Uh, we haven't grabbed our buffs but that's fine. We just want to quickly get this done and then we'll call it a day. Uh, wait there was some up here? No we did actually drop past here to find the initial stuff. Yeah there's a bunch here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting that the, the, they changed the appearance of cobalt to make cobalt so much easier to notice, but mithril is basically the same. What I might do between episodes is go, um, there's our calcum. Yeah, what I might do between episodes is, um, there's more over there. Uh, go fishing for um, some more chests. There's some down there. Good. Chest crates, fishing for crates.
away from that thing. Ah, we only bother one of them. Still, 187. That'll do. We'll pick up some stuff that we can easily see just sitting on the surface. There's the Archalcum. It's a pinkish colour. It is an orangey colour, so it's blending in with... Um, it looks a lot like um, this Palladium. Okay, that'll do. Let's get the things crafted that we know we need to get crafted. Uh, one moment while I s sort the inventory. Okay. Um, where did we put these in? I put them to one side so I could easily find them later and we've forgotten where we put them. There they are. Right, so we need to, first things first, make a whole bunch of bars, make an anvil, replace our existing anvil, uh, put that anvil away. Wait, right, that's it was material. Oh wait, no, we know why it's a material. It's a material because of that thing, yep. Yep, yep, okay. Right, ocular staff. And while we're here and have the resources... Next tier of drill. Um, it's mine a bit too fast. Let's go with the one that doesn't reduce our range. Right. Uh, that goes in there. That goes in there. For proper comparisons. That needs to be upgraded. Yep, yeah. we're not, not mystic. Mythic, there we go. Right, uh, let's get rid of you and get rid of them. There's a golden bird nearby. Too late, I've left it. Right, uh, okay. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then from Money Trough, we need Control Staff. Okay. Hey, you guys, the target's over there. They are doing roughly as much damage as um, the knives do. So I think we'll use these to replace um, the thrust things, since they have both a melee and a ranged attack. We'll keep the knives because I think the knives are actually going to be really powerful against the destroyer. Because I think they will cleave through all of its sections. Yeah, these things are getting stuck on terrain and the knives don't, so... There's uses for both of them, but yeah, we'll use this to replace that. Let's swap these around. That can go away for now. Now, 
And I think we shall call it there for today. Methinks. Uh, we do now have our Mithril Anvil. That does actually allow us to... Um, yeah, it would allow us to make, I think, the um, these two turrets here. But no, we'll worry about that next time. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll be back again on Monday with more of this, I think. We're going to be reclaiming territory and building um, the remaining houses, uh, since we are now full up again with our current, set, uh, current setup. So I think we'll be um, pushing back Crimson and whatnot. So yeah, thanks again, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheerio.